Men are good. Let's have a quick look at some physical differences between boys and girls. Men are good. I think you know that already. Boys are good too. And you know, there's a bunch of differences between boys and girls, men and women that rarely gets talked about. You know, I did a video on testosterone and precarious manhood, which goes through quite a few of those and I'd highly suggest you have a look at it. We'll link it in the upper right. You can have a look at it there. But there's also some fascinating physical differences between boys and girls, men and women, that you almost never hear about. Now, one of my favorite books of all time, a book by David Geary called Male, Female, The Evolution of Human Sex Differences, has a lot in it about these differences. And it's a fantastic book that really helps you understand how we got where we are. It's really a fascinating read. Um, and I'd highly recommend it. But what I'm going to do is take a couple of quotes from that book um, for the next couple of minutes about the differences in boys and girls and how we're very different. I think you'll be surprised at the kinds of things you hear. So let's have a look at it. Okay, by adulthood, only one out of 50 women have more muscle mass than the average man. Hmm. At nine years old, boys have about 8% more muscle than girls. During the next six years, girls' lean muscle mass increases by about 50%, but muscle mass more than doubles in boys. At 15 years old, boys have on average 70% more muscle tissue than girls, and nearly all boys have more muscle mass than the average girl. At age nine, girls have about 20% more fat than boys, but this increases to 60% by age 15. Hmm, you know, it's interesting, part of where the girls keep their fat is in their upper thighs. And uh, apparently it's, it's, uh, they keep that fat there so that in case there's a, a famine uh, and they're pregnant and uh, the fat will be able to feed the child. Fascinating our differences, right? Boys develop larger hearts as well as larger skeletal muscles, larger lungs, higher systolic blood pressure, lower resting heart rate, greater capacity for carrying oxygen in the blood, and a greater power for neutralizing the chemical products of muscular exercise. Wow, that's a mouthful, right? Did you know that? By 17, girls have a widening of the hips and pelvis. For boys, his shoulders widen by his 20s. Young boys usually have small to moderate advantages in grip strength, running speed, and jumping distance. By 17, though, more than 9 out of 10 boys outperform girls in these three areas. Hmm. From near parity as children, 10 to 16 year old boys, upper body strength increases four times and lower body increases three times. Girls increases are a lot more modest. Activity levels differ also. Boys are more active in infancy, about three to five boys are more active than the average girl and become more so over time. By adolescence, 70% of boys are more active than the average girl. As a result of sex differences in leg length, muscle mass, and cardiovascular capacity, men can run faster on average than women. 90% of four to seven year old boys have higher throwing velocities than the average same age girl. By 12, the most skilled girls have throwing velocities that are comparable to the least skilled boys. Did you know about that one? Boys need to hear that they're good at throwing. More than 90% of two to four year old boys can throw farther than the average girl. By 17, the most skilled girls can throw as far as the least skilled boys. Hmm. By adulthood, about 75% of men outperform the average woman in throwing accuracy, visual acuity, and ability to track and block objects thrown at them. Wonder why we need that. By throwing advantage, boys throwing advantage is due to boys having longer ulna and radius bones relative to their body height. At birth, 75% of boys have longer radii than the average girl and by 18 years old, 95% of men have longer radii. So you can see the red there, that's the, either the ulna or, ulna or the radii, and those two forearm bones are longer in men than they are in women. It gives men a, an ability to throw in a different kind of way. Interesting, right? 
You have so many fascinating differences, yet we hear almost nothing about it. Boys need to hear that they're different and they're pretty good at some things. You know, because boys are told that the girls are better. Girls do this. Oh, wow, girls this. You know, you go girl, while the boys are kind of left behind in some ways. So young men, you know, have a look at this. See where you shine. Go test it out. See for yourself. And let's not forget, men are good.